The officials there at center, and I think we are about to get this one underway. The Canadians start things off on the right note by winning the opening draw. Quick shot! Oh, he saved it! What a stop! Well, that's desperation at its finest to be able to get to that puck and send a clear message to his team that he's behind him. He's going to be the foundation tonight. Theodore's known for making those long breakout passes to spring his teammates. That's his sending zone ability, and it can really get things going. Pasternak's got that snipe zone ability, which is that wicked accuracy from shooting when the puck is nice and settled. Before I send it back upstairs, you should know I'll be looking to see who will power their team to victory tonight. The Canadians don't like it, but they'll serve two in the penalty box. And momentum on their side as they win the draw here inside the offensive zone. The Bruins take it along the wall. And it takes a shot. Scores! Well, putting the special in special teams. It's a power play tally. Well, it's all about specialty teams, and it often makes a difference. And right now, there was pass execution, and they found a way to attack the net. Well, your specialty team coaches are constantly telling you on a power play that you need to take advantage. And the way that you do that is to take away the eyes of the goaltender. A ton of net front presence here. And that's the reason the seeing eye shot finds its way to the back of the net. Boston's on the board. The crowd's loving it. I even think the coach is smiling on the bench, too. That's always a good thing when you look back at your coach and they're smiling because it doesn't happen often, James. The one thing that does get a smile is a great start because they now know that you are ready right from puck drop, not from just a physical standpoint, but from an emotional side, too. Montreal's been the busier team offensively, but they still trail here early in period one. Scoops up the puck now. Quick feed to Chatfield. The Bruins will play it from the defensive zone. Working the puck deep inside their own end. Strong defensive effort. Jostles the puck loose. Quick pass over to Theodore. Slides it up front. Here's a short pass to Konechny. The Canadians looking against the half wall. Moves it quickly over to Caulfield. Poked away by Dubé. The Canadians gonna work on offense. And the puck departs the zone. Boston's got to hold him it against the wall. And that skips away on a nice defensive deflection. Comes up with the steal. Moves it on over to Saka. From his own end, he moves it up ahead. And he totally whiffs on that one. The Canadians take possession in the defensive end. Slavkovsky's got it in the offensive end. Great reach with the poke check. Gains the zone on the left wing. He grabs the puck here at the point. Unloads one! And the lane's clogged up blocking that. Theodore's taking it from his own end. Right up the gut into the attacking zone. We got a stoppage. Let's get the call. Well, everyone has a job and a role to do, and guess what? It's about PK execution right now. They have the one-goal lead. Now they're protecting it. And that's knocked away in the defensive end by Geeky. Inside his own end moves the puck. Moves it to Carlo. The Bruins will play it in their own end. Boston's on the attack. Quick pass to Lindholm. Denies him! The goaltenders are the... Look at this, two on one. motion in the offensive zone and they cash in to tie this game he's got the puck on a string here and i don't think that his opponent knows how to defend him because he is just magic when it's on his stick but this time he elects to move the puck versus take the shot catches everyone off guard including the goaltender getting closer to the halfway point of this frame the next goal could be a big one as we are tied and a nice poke check inside the neutral zone and he slides it quickly to Paul. From the right side and up the middle. Moves it to the middle. Great defensive play to pick off the pass. Nice zone entry from the middle. Quick snap. Shuts it down with the paddle. What a stop. 
Quinton's pass was so difficult, James. I mean, he stumbles, so he's off balance, and he's still able to corral the puck and get it off with precision to the shooter. That leads to a great scoring chance. And he takes the feed. Soderstrom's got it against the boards. Stones him in front. Well, he makes an incredible save on a point-blank shot here, James. I love the way he's aggressive, he's competitive, and he wins the battle. Great poke check on the reach. Ball stick handling in his own zone. Feeds it to Drouet. Looking to make something happen along the boards. Intercepted the pass. The Bruins gain possession along the wall. A chance in front, and that's stopped. And the puck stopper jumps on top of it to get a stoppage in play. Well past the midway mark of this period, you can feel the energy in this crowd. It's a tie game. Montreal's got it in the defensive zone. Working the puck deep inside their own end. Montreal's looking to break out. Quick feed to Slavkovsky. Here's a chance. Oh, a clutch save. Feeds the puck to Carlo. Long pass up ahead to center. Great vision to see that stretch pass. Great save from in tight. I really like this save, James, because he... Here he is all alone, right in the open ice. Scores! Puts it in the back of the net, and that's how you light the lamp. He lights the lamp as he buries that one, James. But he knows he has confidence, and he shows just that in that battle. Execution, that's how you do it. Well, this breakaway is perfectly executed, James. He knows his bread and butter is his great shot. He sees an opening and he takes it. Montreal's gone up by one after that goal here in the first. Well, yeah, and it certainly changes the mindset. You got a little bit of jump to your step. You're more confident. Now you gotta attack. You gotta push when your opponent's down. Looks like we got a penalty coming up here. From the right side, takes the pass. Good hit to knock the puck loose. There's the whistle, and here's the call. Tough spot to be in. You need momentum, and you give it back by going on the PK when you're trailing by one. Puck is dropped, and he wins the draw here in the defensive zone. The Bruins have it now. They go on the attack through center. Here's a short pass to Kiki. Loose puck, and they're off to the races. And he moves it up to Kirk. Here's a chance in front! And that's intercepted! Montreal's got it in their own zone. Boston's got the puck. From the defensive zone, they move the puck around. Boston's got him along the wall. And he loses control here. Moves it quickly over to Kiki. Looking to break out here on the power play. Down the left wing and into the offensive zone. Denies them in close. Well, this is an incredible save, James. It's anticipation as well. Recognize that the shooter is in the low slot, getting in front of it and making the save. Sends it over to Kirk. Zaka's almost out of the box. Jostles for the puck, but still hangs on. And time expires on the power play. Both teams back to even. That power play wasn't very good, James. It's really slow and methodical and easy read for the PK unit. You gotta fight to find something in the middle ice and get some shots on net. Kirk's got it in the offensive zone. Fires it! Oh, he got all that! What a save by Copley! As a goaltender, you want to make yourself as big as possible, and that's exactly what he does right there and just takes away the net. Period number one in the books. First intermission entertainment is on deck here. You can also have time to go grab a drink, grab a hot dog, and we'll be back with period number two in moments. Montreal's been rewarded for putting pucks on net here early in the second. And they get after it here with period number two now officially underway. All right, Pounder, how would you assess this game through the first 20 minutes played? Boston's not going to want to change much within their game, James. In the opening frame, they held possession. They got their opportunities. They just weren't able to convert. They're going to have to do better in that category if they want to get back in this game. Lots of time left in this period. Montreal's got a slim lead. They lead it 2-1. 
And off the draw, they win possession. Theodore's got it in the defensive end. Knocked away by Dubé. Grabbed along the board by Theodore. From the open ice, they gain the line. The Bruins get a hold of the puck in their own end. Exploring options here inside the defensive zone. Shot. Oh, and he stops that one. Montreal's looking to break out of their own end. With possession along the wall. Moves the puck behind the net. Moves it to Theodore. Shuts him down. Picks up the puck. Great reach with the poke check by Carlo. There's a blocker stop by Lankanen. I love his confidence and composure with the puck, James. I mean, he will manipulate his opponent as he's maneuvering his way to the net because he's willing to pause. He's got that confidence. But when he gets net front, man, the goaltender is in a ready position and makes a nice save. Swing and a miss. Cuts to the paint. And he comes up with it. And another stop. They make some consecutive saves there. He's got to be wondering where his defense are. I mean, how about a little help? Copley's going to keep and hang on for the whistle and just slow it down a little bit here. Now the goaltender, you always have to be mentally focused and ready to make a save, James. He hasn't been busy this period, but they're in the lead, so it's a safe play. He elects to hold on. Play resumes here as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. And he's ridden off the puck. Into the corner of the attacking area. Huge play in his own end to come up with the puck. Fires it into the offensive zone. Scrum along the boards as they battle for the puck. Boston's got it in their own zone. Steps inside the attacking zone down the left wing. The Bruins have the puck in the corner. Oh, the poke check. What a read by the goaltender. Dumps it into the O zone. The Bruins have it now. They try to maintain possession inside the defensive zone. Quick pass to Saka. From the point, they take control of it. From center, they get into the attacking area. Sends it in front, and that's off target. The Canadians move the puck in the defensive zone. Slavkovsky's hauled down, penalty on the way. And there's another penalty call against the home team. These fans are frustrated. Shell, I think these calls are legit. I just think that the fans are wondering, what about the other side here? Well, yeah, and I gotta be expecting to get one soon here, as it is one side, and it's so hard for a team to get into the game when there's no flow because you keep braiding yourself to the box. Moves it to the middle! nature of this PK unit. I mean, you're down by a goal, you want to press, you attack appropriately, and then you get a shorty. That's a great job by the PK. Still some precious time left on this power play as they get set to drop the puck. Kirk's won the draw at center. Feeds the puck to Lindholm. The Bruins will play it from the defensive zone. Sends it out in front, and he shuts down a great scoring chance there. The Canadians cross the blue line and are on the attack. Pokes it away in his own end. Tries to get the puck over to Lindholm. The Bruins will play it in their own end. Puck scooped up by Kirk. And that's picked up in the defensive end. They gain the offensive zone from the middle. Moves inside! Tremendous stop by Lankanen! A timely save is everything to your team, and this goaltender, he bails his team out. Takes the feed from his own end. And down he goes as the puck goes free. Angles it over to Caulfield. Montreal's ready to go on the attack. Soderstrom standing up, ready to go. Play expires and they got to be left shaking their heads as they fail to convert and serve up a shorthanded goal. Past the halfway mark of this period, and it's all tied up. Boston's won the draw. Quick feed 
to Chatfield. Sends a pass over. Sends the pass in front. Couldn't get it to go. And forces a huge turnover here with the steal. Shot and Ted completely fails on that. Puck picked up by Pasternak. And tries to make a diagonal pass to Fabry. Oh, look at the pass. Picked up along the boards by Chatfield. Back to the point it goes. Here's a short pass to Saka. Oh, and what a save as he gets that one, too. I'm not sure where the defense is, but I'll tell you what, the goaltender has been outstanding, made a flurry of saves to keep his team in this one. Some last second communication before both teams get ready to drop the puck here. Boston's won the draw. With the steal, he's got a little jump. He's in, all alone. Oh, puts it off the post, you can hear the pin from up here. Uh, I think that he felt the pressure there, James. I thought he had a little bit more time, and it's a game of inches, and he missed. margin of error here and he's able to find the back of the net it's all about accuracy not necessarily how hard the shot is the Bruins pick up the all-important lead here as we inch closer and closer towards the second intermission plenty of time you score on the back half of a period it certainly creates some much needed momentum momentum that you want to carry forward to the intermission and he can have a lengthy conversation about it and start the third with a bang the Canadians scoop it up along the boards Montreal's got the puck in the defensive end. Boston's gained possession. Takes the feed. And he takes the feed. Sends the feed in front. And that shot's blocked. Bodie is exploring options with the puck. Cutting to the slot. Scores! On the rebound. Looks, James, you have to have timing and an awareness to be able to get your stick on that rebound and then bury it. Not a lot of time and space available, but he executes perfectly. The Bruins extend the lead to two here as they get closer and closer to intermission, Cheryl. Great timing to go up by two. You've dictated the play. You're coming into the end of the second period, and you find a way to get another. Now, right off of this faceoff, they really want to set the tone and keep their opponent on their heels. Dishes it to Tube. Takes the pass. Boston's got the puck along the wall. Spectacular stop by the goaltender. How did he hang on to that? And he slides it quickly to Weisblatt. Here's a shot. Big stop just as time expires in the period. There's the buzzer bringing period number two to a close. Hey, listen, we've got lots more in store here on this broadcast, so don't even think about going anywhere. We're back with more in a moment. Welcome back to EA Sports. The final frame looms here as the officials set to drop the puck on period number three. They have dropped the puck here in the third. Well, with two periods played, Pounder, your thoughts? Boston's ahead in this game, James, but for how long is the big question? I mean, the opponent just keeps storming back after a goal. This is a modern-day offensive game. No defense is being shown on this one. There's the whistle. Let's see what the referee saw. Kennedy's called for tripping. He's off to the box. Kavanagh's won a big draw on their own end. And loses possession after a solid hit. Slides the pass over to Soderstrom. The Bruins take it across the blue line. Pass in front. Picked off in front. Copley's going to hang on to the puck for a whistle. Can they capitalize on this power play? Here comes the faceoff. And they take possession after the defensive zone faceoff. Slides it on over to Kinden. Boston's got the puck along the boards. And he takes the pass. Uses the force on that hit. Slip feed. Nothing doing. 
scooped up along the wall by Geeky. Turns it away on the slap shot. Moves the pass in front. Great defensive heads up play to pick it off. Delayed penalty coming up here. The goaltender is quickly off to his bench to get the extra attacker out. Grips it, rips it, and that's blocked away. Whistle blows, stopping the play. Anytime you're shorthanded, you're compromised, but this time it's even furthermore because their best peak air is in the box. He had a shorty earlier in the game. The Bruins win the defensive zone faceoff. Loses his balance on the play. Montreal's got some room to do something here on this power play as their penalty expired. Strong defensive effort. Feeds it on over to Pasternak. The Bruins move to the offensive zone. The pass out front. Great defensive play to pick off the pass. Moves around along the half wall. Chatfield's moving the puck through his own zone. Takes the feed. Beautiful feed up ahead from the right wing side. Play whistle dead offside the call. Kirk's gliding in for the face-off as this penalty kill will continue. Oh, and he takes possession of the puck from off the wing with the centers all locked up there off the draw. Oh, just goes off his glove and it stays out. Uh, he's dialed in tonight, James. When the puck is on his stick, he is a magician. He goes east-west, he can go north-south, and most importantly, he creates his own space. He does take it to the net, but this time the goaltender makes the save. Caulfield's moving it ahead. Both sides are evened up as the power play has expired. Well, that's an effective PK, James. You have to know exactly how to read it. It's ability to anticipate. Now, The Bruins probably don't want this game to end the way things have gone here. I know we're in period number three, but Cheryl, what a night. Yeah, it's been terrific right from puck drop, and they've been consistent throughout the game, and consistency is always the word that coaches talk about. And if they can finish this off with this nice lead, that's the word the coach is going to be preaching after the game. Kiki's lugging the puck. Pass to Quinn. Moves the puck along the half wall. What a steal in his own end. Copley's going to hang on for a whistle. Fabry's playing with such confidence right now, and he's got this point streak going, and when that's happening for you, you're having a ton of fun putting up the points. Still lots of time left here in this frame. The Bruins have taken control of this one, now leading by three. There's the whistle. We've got an offside. Officials getting ready to drop the puck. Puck possession so key in today's game. Smart play to take possession, sneaking in off the wing. Over the line they come. Pokes it away here in the neutral zone. Boston's got a hold of the puck. Through the neutral zone now, picking up steam. Quinn's going to play it against the half wall. And that's off target as it hits a body. Copley's got the puck and he's going to hang on. has won the faceoff, and now let's see what they can do. Great save by Copley. Goalie plays it up. Slides the puck to Theodore. Steps across the line and on the attack down the right side. Stopped by the goaltender, getting a piece of that one. That's a great save, but the goaltender had to get out to the top of his crease, take away all the ice, and make himself as big as possible. Tenacious battle for the puck along the wall. And he makes the save. Lankinen's been really sharp tonight, James, and then just have a look at his save percentage, and he's making the stops that he needs to. The man, this team's played well. They've got going north, they've created opportunities, and the reason why, they have a healthy lead. Here he is, takes the shot! Oh, how did he get a piece of that? Well, a nice save by the goaltender, and even better is that he redirects the puck to the corner to safety. 
tries to get it to Soderstrom. The Bruins move it in. A chance in front. Takes the blast. Comes up with the stop. The Bruins have a significant lead here in the third period. They have brought their A game tonight. Offense is on face off and he wins the draw. And that's blocked from someone in front. Moves it quickly over to Kapanen. And now he moves it quickly to Ginden. Poked away at center by Lindholm. Pushes it across to Weisblatt. Oh, he caught him. Uh, and that's a thunderous hit along the boards. It's bone crushing, James. You feel that one right from your toes all the way up to your shoulders. Talk about finishing a check. Steele's got it along the wing. The Canadians gain control of the puck. Puts it in deep. The Bruins look to start the transition game. Looking for space inside the D zone. Great use of the body to knock him off the puck. Coughs it up on the play. At center ice now, he grabs the puck. Moves it to the middle, and that doesn't connect. Takes the feed from the wing. Moves it to the middle, and that goes off a stick. Cooley's got the puck in his own zone. And it's a quick pass to Konechny. The Bruins have it against the wall. Gets it over to Carlo. Through the open ice, they're picking up steam. The Bruins carry it along the wall. The Canadians get a hold of the puck along the boards. Here they come through center and into the offensive end. Boston's got the puck inside the defensive zone. And they send it right back to him. Taken by Cooley. Caulfield's taking it from his own end. Oh, a little cat burglar like play with the stick. Nicely done. Takes a shot. Answers the call big time. What a stop by Lankanen. This is a really nice save, James. I mean, the shooter's in the middle of the ice, is in the slot area. And he's got to get to the top of the three square of the puck to be able to make that save. Great job. Picks won the face off deep inside the offensive zone. Takes the shot. Great defensive stick work on the play. From the left side, moves it up ahead. Moves it to the middle. It's Good night.